Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and welcome back to another Indie Game Sunday. Today we're going to be playing either Sai or Say. Yeah, I know it's pronounced different depending on where you are, I don't know. But, anyway, we're going to be checking out the game. It seems pretty interesting, and I kind of wanted to, you know, try it out. So, I have a new little AI to, you know, read for me this time. You know what, Z? Go ahead and get in the synopsis. Let's go ahead and get this started. Sai is a third-person action game exploring Celtic folklore and deforestation. Set in a magical forest, players will discover an environment damaged and destroyed by onslaughts of machines. These metallic creatures rack their way through the land to get to the core of its magic, the heart tree. Though its presence is now but a lost memory, the machines remain determined to find this all-powerful entity. As a druid, protector of the natural world, you must explore this beautiful realm, harness the power that still lingers here, and uncover its dark past. Stop the machines. Protect the land. Save the forest. Thank you, Z. Appreciate it. That's going to be Z. She's going to be reading the synopsis and, you know, opening story for us and stuff, you know? Hey. I just figured out it would be like a really good good and interesting idea to make like a, you know, a little fun test of speech AI, you know, kind of immersion type thing. But yeah, with that said, let's get in. Uh, also, this game messes with your VR headset too. For some reason, it turns on the VR stuff. So make sure to unplug your VR or I, I guess you can play it with VR. I'm not sure. It seemed, seemed pretty interesting i just don't want to be in my vr right now so i have to unplug it uh let's go story mode oh no that deer feels bad mate so celtic fort folklore well okay <laughs> machines are already starting huh That's that's a pretty interesting way to start it. Alright, so far, pretty smooth gameplay, no lag or anything. You know, standard graphics, nothing like, you know, extremely overdone. You know, they kept it simple. I'm liking the details in our clothes too, the wrinkles and everything. Little symbols on our uh, little hood. The walk animation isn't half bad either. Oh, go towards the light. <laughs> I have a sprint too. The sprint is kind of less to be desired, and plus, if I hold directional sprint or anywhere directional it becomes weird but you know uh, it isn't any game after all so now I have my bow okay oh that's neat I like that plants flowers or the arrows become flowers oh my space bar is a dash. I honestly thought that would be a jump. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm curious about what's over there. Is there a way to get up there? Guess that's kind of why they didn't give me the jump button, huh? <laughs> There's definitely something shiny over there. I guess we gotta go all the way around. Okay, so you can't spam jump. Well, it's spam, da spam dash words.
Oh, is that what it is? Can I hit that? Oh, I can. Okay, now that just makes me want to keep an eye out for all those now. Hello, dear friend. Forest spirit. Hall druid. Oh, that's, that's what your face looks like? Oh, that's kind of terrifying. <laughs> Spirit of this forest, what lies beyond these walls? A am I reading a, a poem? <laughs> the way I just read that just sounds like a whole total poem. I can feel a loss of pain that was surrounding this place. I am here to finish what the others started. I can stop this, but not on my own. And I can think of no greater honor than to have a mighty wise eh we don't know if he's wise and mighty yet you're overplaying yourself I don't know what the fuck he just said so I'm skipping that <laughs> go on steed <laughs> take me places nothing okay Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one too. It does have drop, okay. Ah. Hold on. Controller is acting up. It also messes with controllers. Cool. Good to know. Good to know that it has controller compatibility as well. <laughs> Ah, this kind of looks like the like the thumbnail. <laughs> Ow, dude! What the fuck? Okay, dude. Two people throwing rocks at me is not cool. Okay, you guys got the throwing arm of a fucking god. Oh god, he just came across the map too. I was wondering if I had to hit him in the eye or if they only took damage in the eye. Guess we'll see. Huh, I would think I would get knocked down for that. Okay, can we not have it? Stop throwing stuff at trees, dude. Rude. Okay. We know we just have to hit them. Ow, dude, my face. Oh, this game's actually pretty neat so far. Can I not hit that? Oh, this is something else completely different. <laughs> go back to our normal grassy areas just to let you guys know we're not gonna go fully through all the story just because I want you guys to try out the game yourself you know I'm gonna be trying it out for at least 15 to 20 minutes hopefully it's not that short but you know still this is an indie game after all Ah, oh, hey Stag, how you doing? Beyond the power of my heart tree. I don't know what the fuck that says, so I'm skipping it. <laughs> this is what the machines came for. Her magic. Every last drop of it. The energy you collect when you kill them, they harvest it from this tree. From the ground tree out oh, from the forest where the hell did I get treats from in that moment <laughs> creases that only know how to destroy will eventually meet 
destruction themselves. I will see to it. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Those who want to destroy the world will only destroy themselves too. <laughs> I still never got that whole uh, villainous thing of destroying the planet. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to bring everybody else with me to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay. I see. I didn't see the little uh, flower thing at the bottom left. I think that's another one. Can I hit it from here? Oh my god, I want to try it now. I'm pretty sure that's another one. It seems like I would be hitting it. What about this one? I think those are totally different things. None of those are the flowers. But I have realized that my drop and fire is like slightly to the left if you guys have actually been paying attention to that so it is not directly down the crosshair which is a thing to keep in mind okay yeah that I've been hitting those and that's definitely not flowers <laughs> noted I think that is yeah but to be honest even when it's sliding being off Shooting this crossbow is extremely, not crossbow, this bow is, is extremely satisfying. And plus, it's still even accurate, even with it slightly being off the crosshair. From like a distance. Ah, huh? what the fuck, dude? I will say, uh, the bow is extremely accurate, I'm not. Spawning behind me. Oh, there's another one? Oh, dude, you're fast as fuck, dude. Get away from me. <laughs> Oh wow, you literally just plant them up. <laughs> I'm gonna have you looking like a bush at the end of the day. spotted behind me but I think it was over there you can't win give up I figured I was like I'm hearing something going to my other side I don't know if you have any HP before you guys ask. <laughs> My guess is... I was thinking about... I was thinking if it was like glowing on the back of my hood. It's not. 
Yo, kind of how the... I can't even remember that game's name. But there was a game that I played. It was like a ninja-like game. To where... Your little cape or cloth would have your HP. It was your power. No, it was your power. How much like power you had. Pretty sure some of you guys know. It starts it starts with like either O or an S. It became like a totally different game. Either way it goes. I don't know if you have HP, I don't know if it like signifies it anywhere. Maybe it's just, you know, maybe they're just showing off their combat and their like whole art style and everything. I'm not gonna lie, I, I I'm kinda liking it so far, you know. Forest and everything's coming back as soon as you clear an area. Kinda reminds me of like another indie game that I thought about playing, but you were playing as a deer. There's a lot of like games that have the whole idea of like restoring areas that have been destroyed and corrupted and stuff like that which are very beautiful uh, oh damn dude he's break dancing look at him <laughs> which i think those games are always like a good idea especially this one too even though it doesn't like make like a drastic drastic change to the map because that is a lot of work it's basically like creating a whole new second map for when it transitions I always love those type of games. Okay, making sure I'm not missing any flowers. I probably won't be able to get them all, but still. Let's do one more area. Then we'll call it there. So far, the game is beautiful. In its own way, okay? Before you guys are like, ah, oh, dude, isn't that beautiful? And still like, man, it's just on a better game. Yeah, yeah, we know. Honey? Oh, this is a perfect way to end off this. My eyes. <laughs> Dude, I got fucking sniped. It's not done with you yet. Just let me die. <laughs> let it be somebody else's problem. <laughs> Alright, I gotta watch my back, make sure n nothing else just goes off, you know? <laughs> Actually, you know what? I feel like that's the perfect way to end this. Yeah. I will leave a link down in the description to the Itch.io page if you guys actually want to try out this game. I do highly recommend it. We're going to keep everything else a mystery for you guys, and you will try it out yourselves. With that said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.